Hi friends, it's Jen and today I'm making a YouTuber request, a YouTuber friend request. I'm making a Dagwood sandwich. Okay, so what's in a Dagwood sandwich? Well, let's find out. You can put almost any kind of meat you want. I have oven roasted turkey. I have Virginia smoked ham. I have some Italian dry salami. Should have bought more salami. And, well, not and. Some Swiss cheese and American cheese and I love Swiss cheese so much that I went back and got me a couple more slices and to top it off we have bologna from the butcher department the meat department Okay friends, let's start to assemble this sandwich. I've never made this sandwich. I've heard of the sandwich. I'm familiar with Dagwood Bumpstick. I'm familiar with his sandwiches on the comic strip. But by golly, I've never had a Dagwood sandwich. Okay, so I'm using some rye for bread, Jewish rye. Let's put a little mayo on bread. And it seems like you could just assemble it however you like. Maybe I should have toasted the bread, but that's okay. Let's go for some At this point, I'm going to add a couple of slices of tomato. Anybody out there had the Dagwood before? Seems like there's a lot of varieties. I was skimming through the, the internet and I saw that Dagwood even has a fried egg on his sandwich. But I'm not going to do the fried eggs today. Okay, so let's put some romaine. Okay. And then let's top it off with some mustard. This one I'm going to do mustard and mayonnaise combo. And maybe a little on the top. Strange, right? However, it's not strange if you're building a Dagwood sandwich. So let's put one here and one here. And we'll put some American cheese, some salami. And we'll put some onions on top. Now, of course, the Dagwood, you can just use any type of meats and fixings you like. And let's put some more turkey and some more ham. And 
let's toss on some more. I like a tomato, so let's toss on some more tomato. but I'm not a fan of pickles. Okay, so to top off my Sammy, Sammy, let's put a little bit more mustard for flavor and mayonnaise for moisture. I also wonder if my friend Doc will try this sandwich. Okay. Not quite over yet. One more thing to do is where did it go? We need to add some pimento olives. I should just put the olives inside the sandwich. Okay, friends, so I need to oil my jaw bones. Here it is. Let's take a taste. Lucy, this one's for you, ma'am. Here it is, friends. The Dagwood sandwich. Let's do this one. This one here. Oh, look inside. I didn't even show you the inside. Look at the inside of this. Oh my goodness. Let's do a close up. Okay, here it goes. First, we'll top it off with the olives. I love olives. Okay, let's top it off with the olives first. Mm. Okay. Let's see what happens here. I feel like I have to stand up. This is a good sandwich. Look at this. Oh, I didn't even take the olive. The olive is right here in the corner. Mmm. This was a good sandwich. I've heard of Dagwood, and I remember his comics and his big old Empire State Building tall sandwiches, but I've never tried one. Thank you for this idea, Lucy. This was actually pretty good. Okay, friends, if you have extra deli meats at home and you're feeling a little courageous, make yourself a Dagwood. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. 
Thanks for watching, friends. Bye.